Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The moon visits the seven sisters on the first night of spring. A super sight in your binoculars. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. This Saturday, March 20th, is the date of the vernal equinox for 2010, or as it is more commonly called, the first day of spring, at which time the hours of daylight will be equal to the hours of night. But this year, something special will happen on the first night of spring, something which is almost as beautiful cosmically as spring itself. Indeed, on Saturday evening the 20th, an exquisite five-day-old crescent moon will huddle up right next to the tiny star cluster called the Pleiades, the Seven Sisters. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for Friday, March 19th, which is officially the last night of winter for the Northern Hemisphere, an hour after sunset. We're facing west, and if it's clear out, you will see an exquisite four-day-old waxing, that is growing, crescent moon, complete with earth shine, which will look like a blackish-gray, almost full moon, nestled within the bright crescent. And if you look just above the moon, about a fist width away, you'll see the tiny but exquisite group of stars that has been called the Seven Sisters for thousands of years. Some people say they look like a little milk dipper, or a cluster of grapes, even a swarm of celestial fireflies. And we have records of them going back as far as the Old Testament. Now, although you need nothing but the naked eye to appreciate their beauty, if you look at them through even the cheapest pair of binoculars, you will be absolutely awed because you'll see many more than seven stars here, and they'll appear much brighter. Now make a mental note of where the moon and the Pleiades are on Friday night the 19th, and then 24 hours later, go out again, and I think the sight will take your breath away, because then a five-day-old, slightly fatter crescent moon, complete with earth shine, will be right next to the Seven Sisters. A fabulous sight to the naked eye, but one which will simply stun you through binoculars. Our ancient ancestors would have said, that the moon is visiting the Seven Sisters, as if the moon and the Seven Sisters were really close to each other. But we today know that this is not true, and that their visual closeness is simply an optical illusion, and that although the moon appears to be the bigger celestial object, just the opposite is also true. Indeed, our moon is a cosmic orb only 2,000 miles wide, which shines by reflected sunlight and is only a quarter of a million miles away, which means that we see the light that left it less than two seconds ago. Each of the Pleiades, however, is a giant star, each of which makes its own light like our sun, but which are much larger than our almost one million mile wide sun. Indeed, each one of the Pleiades is three to 10 times as wide as our sun and so far away that it takes their light over 400 years to reach us. So the light we see now is the light that left them when Galileo first turned his telescope toward the heavens. Wow! So start your first night of spring right with the cosmic light of the moon and the seven sisters. Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.